Well, tonight, a dead bear is at the center of a criminal investigation. Authorities want to know who killed this bear. Neighbors in Sanford tell News 6 they found the 200-pound bear early this morning lying in the middle of Bookertown Park. They found it moments after they reported hearing gunshots. News 6 reporter Matt Petrillo joins us live at the park. So, Matt, do authorities have any idea how this happened? Well, authorities say if someone shot that bear, that person could be looking at misdemeanor charges. Now, just moments ago, we found FWC officials walk around that corner inspecting the area. They tell us that bear was probably killed at a home not too far from where we're standing on Moton Avenue. Then somehow someone dragged that bear a couple blocks to where we're standing at this park nearby. We're going to consider all sources, all motives. This is video you'll see only on New 6 of the bear dead in front of this home on Moton Avenue in Sanford from this morning. It's here where the bear was first found and where the FWC is focusing its investigation. At this point, we don't know if it's been shot or not. The biggest thing that we're looking into is we have a dead bear in the neighborhood. But the FWC does know that after the bear died here, someone then dragged its lifeless 200-pound body to this park a few blocks away. That's sad because that bear didn't bother nobody. While many neighbors here are used to seeing bears roam the area. To be honest with you, I call this uh, Yellowstone, Little Yellowstone, because of the bears. There are some people who think they're a nuisance. And I couldn't get out the house because the bear was literally in my driveway, which is at my front door. Since November, the FWC received more than 140 bear calls from people in Seminole County, everything from sightings to complaints. We're trying to eliminate human bear conflict. Officials say it's possible a frustrated neighbor may have led to this bear's death, but its body is now in the hands of a biologist who's working to determine just what happened to it. We're asking people if they do see bears in the area to call our dispatch and not take matters into their own hands. And neighbors tell us that they asked the FWC if they could lay bear traps in this area months ago. Their answer if they did tonight on News 6 at 7. We're live in Seminole County. Matt Petrillo, News 6.